for me, I'm not a superstition man, so I don't really care uh, one way or the other. Uh, if the fans want to vibe to Grimace, so be it. We can dress up in purple, it's great. Got to talk about some Met stuff with you, of course. Y'all had a wild season up to this point. I know some ups and some downs, some McDonald's characters have come into the conversation. Um, but from your perspective, how would you explain the first half of the season in New York? Um, it's It's been an uphill fight. It, we put ourselves in a position where we had to climb um, harder than a lot of other teams. So, yeah, it's been an uphill fight. We've been just fighting uphill and climbing. We have to keep on climbing the mountain. Uh, we're in a position right now where um, – it, I, I wish we were, you know, six, seven games over 500, but we are where we are today. Yeah. And um, I think we're in a good spot. We just got to continue to climb and stay the course. Yeah. Grimace has taken hold of the city for a minute here. Obviously, folks were saying that him throwing out that first pitch was a real turning point for the season, but... What was the reaction like in the locker room when it came to the Grimace stuff? Like, do you guys just laugh about it? Or are you guys like, yeah, Grimace is that dude for us? Like, what's what's the vibe? <laughs> nah, I just laugh about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, they will know um, they threw the first pitch. Um, you know, it, it, it kind of um, took a life of its own, you know, for a minute there. <laughs> And, and, but it, I think it's something that if the fans want to vibe to that, it's great. You know, it's cool. Um, the fans can feel like whatever is helping them win games. Um, it, 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 it is what it is, you know, for, for me, I'm not a superstition man. So I don't really care, uh, one way or the other. Uh, I've always said that my socks are not the ones getting hit or my body glove is not the one getting hit um, as me. And whenever the guy gets it out, it's the guy getting it out. So, yeah, I've always believed in what we have in the clubhouse and the, the fans want to vibe to Grimace. So, be it. We can dress up in purple. It's great. You're the first Met to have 15 homers, 25 doubles, 15 stolen bases before the All-Star break. So you and the Royals' Bobby Witt Jr. are the only shortstops to do it in baseball history. So could you talk a little bit about the success you've had this year? Now, you know, owning a spot to yourself in the Mets history books, that's got to be huge for you. Yeah, I mean, whenever you, you're a part of the word, the word history, um, it's always special. It's always really cool. However, with that being said, it's it's. Uh, I understand we still got a long way to go, and uh, yeah, it's. I just keep on climbing, and staying the course, and doing what I do on a daily basis. And at the end of the day, it's all about winning. You know, the yeah. the numbers can look great, but if you don't win, you know, it doesn't feel the same. And the numbers can be good, but if you win, they, they feel great. Uh, so. Uh, I just got to continue to do what I do, stay within myself and uh, enjoy the ride, enjoy the ride day in and day out because it, it, be, it could be a tough one, it could be a long one, uh, especially if you're listening to everything around you. I know. Yeah, from where I'm standing, the, the stats that I just mentioned seem worthy of an all-star nod, crazy. So what was your message to the voters who look past the year you're having and think that you – do you think that they need a new format when it comes to picking players? Um, my message? Well, they, they voted for the people that, that felt – they felt they were worth it of being an all-star. Uh, I didn't get those votes. So at the end of the day, well, next year – Hopefully they vote for me, uh, yeah. but it, it's it's it, it, it's part of the the journey, you know. There's there's the guys that made it. Uh, congrats to them. They deserve to be in the All Star um, game, and uh, to me, that's the best event of the summer. Uh, the All Star game. It's it's a very special, and uh, hopefully they get to enjoy it. Gotta ask you about. LFGM, for anyone that doesn't know, that stands for Let's Effing Go Mets. 
rally cry um, that was started by Pete Alonso back in 2019. It's become a part of a regular speech for Mets fans. I see him on T-shirts all the time up here. But could you talk about what that phrase is meant to the team during your time in New York? Um, everybody says it, you know. Yeah. Um, every time uh, somebody scores or we win, you know, everybody's it's that they're really saying it, you know. Uh, it's I think it, it once again it's another fun thing for the fans. Uh, it's it, for us. It's just another thing, you know, that we just um, go out there and. Uh, uh, I mean, we say it without thinking about it. You know, we're not saying yeah. uh, Pete uses it in every speech he does. Though <laughs> it's constantly reminding us of it. Um, but it's just, I think it's just, it's just, it's good. It's good for, for the fans. It's good for the, for the vibes of the clubhouse. Yeah. Keith Hernandez, he recently said the F part in LFGM, uh, was bad. And he, obviously he's a Mets legend, so he's earned his right to have his opinion, of course. But do you think he's just being salty for no reason? Or does he actually have a, have a point? What do you think? I, I, don't know. I, to be quite <laughs> honest, uh, but I, I don't see the bad in it. But if he thinks he's bad, he's entitled to his opinion. And um, yeah, I mean, he's definitely be around the organization longer than I have. So yeah, uh, we've probably seen a lot more things. And yeah, if True. he if he thinks he's bad, then it is what it is. <laughs> Speaking of Pete, though. Uh, you know, the big man, he's returning to the Home Run Derby this year um, and is in search of his third title. But as we know, Pete takes things very seriously. So, you know, I've never seen someone so laser focused in a Home Run Derby like Pete. What do you think that says about his competitiveness as a ball player? I, I think he wants to be remembered as one of the best power hitter games, uh, power hitting players in the game. And. Uh, he he's got what it takes. Uh, he's uh, he competes when it comes down to a competition. He he loves competing. He loves grinding. Um, so he's very um, he's ready. He's prepared for it. I think he he's he's got a chance to win. Hey, sports fans, if you want to see more conversations with athletes and stars, check out these videos right here and be sure to subscribe for more from USA Today Sports.